Hi, I'm Max Dalton, and in this video, I'm going to talk through how to create a podcast feed from Blogger. A Blogger blog is a nice, free option for giving you a place to feed your podcast from. To feed a podcast from your Blogger blog, you'll need to make a few configuration tweaks in the settings section of your blog. You'll also need to set up an RSS feed for your podcast, which I'll walk through how to do on FeedBurner. Before you can feed your podcast from Blogger, you need to have recorded a podcast and have the final version of that podcast hosted somewhere. You'll need to have the URL associated with where your podcast MP3 is located at the location where you're hosting it. If you're not currently hosting your podcast anywhere and you're looking for a free option to get you up and running, I've posted another video that walks you through how to host your podcast MP3s for free at archive.org. Additionally, you'll need to have already set up a blog on Blogger. Now let's talk through the steps for setting up your podcast feed from Blogger. Step 1. Navigate to the home page for your Blogger blog and then click Settings. Step 2. Click Other in the Settings menu. Step 3. On the right side of the screen in the Site Feed section, you'll see an option that says Enable Title Links and Enclosure Links. Click that drop-down and then set it to Yes. Click Save Settings at the top of the screen. We'll come back later to add your post feed redirect URL, which will also be in the Site Feed section. Step 5. Click New Post if you don't currently have a post set up where you want to feed your first podcast from. Alternatively, if you've already started setting up the post where you want to feed your podcast from, click to open that post. Step 6. Add a title in the title field for your blog post. This will appear as the title for your podcast episode in the various podcatchers that will be picking up your podcast feed. Step 7. Enter the show notes for the podcast in the body of your blog post. What you enter here will be presented in podcast players as the description for your podcast episode. Important information to include in the show notes is a high-level summary of what you discuss in this episode of your podcast. Include a list of links to anything you reference in your podcast. If you have illustrations, plug those in. Do not use foul language. If you'll be submitting your podcast to Apple's iTunes, do not use the following words. Apple Inc., iTunes, or iTunes Store. Apple will remove your podcast from iTunes if they find out you've done that. Step 8. Click Post Settings and then click Label on the right side of the screen. Type Podcast as one of your labels. Then click Done. Step 9. Click Links. Click the first blank field beneath Enclosure Links and then paste the URL that's associated with where your podcast lives at the location where you're hosting it. Step 10. Click Done in that section. Then save and publish your blog post. Step 11. Navigate to FeedBurner.com in your web browser and log in to the current site. If you don't have an account, you'll need to set one up. Step 12. Even if you have an existing feed for your blog, you'll need to set up a new one for your podcast. You can do this by navigating to the FeedBurner home screen, plugging the URL for your blog into the blank field beneath Burn a Feed right this instant. Click to check the box next to I am a podcaster and then click next. Do not modify the original feed. Step 13. In the feed title on the next screen, enter a name for your podcast feed. I would strongly recommend that whatever you plug into this field ends in podcast. Step 14. In the feed address field, enter a name in the empty field for your feed address. This should be straight text with no special characters. I would recommend entering the same thing you plugged into the feed title field, but without spaces or special characters. Step 15. Click Save Feed Details directly beneath the Feed Address field. Additionally, make a note of the full URL in the Feed Address field in case we need it later. Step 16. Click Optimize directly beneath the Save Feed Details button. Click SmartCast on the left side of the screen beneath Services. Step 18. Because you're feeding a podcast, click the drop-down to the right of Create Podcast Enclosures from Links to and set it to Audio Files Only. Step 19. 
click to place a check to the left of Include iTunes Podcasting Elements. Step 20. The other fields in this section are where you'll indicate where the image for your podcast is located, a subtitle for your podcast, a summary for your podcast, keywords, and a contact address. If there is any explicit language in your podcast, you'll need to indicate that in the lower section. After supplying the necessary information in all fields, click Save. Step 21. Go back to your Blogger blog and navigate back to Settings, Other, Site Feed. If you do see a URL in the Podcast Feed Redirect URL field, you don't have to do anything. However, if you don't see a URL in that field, then you need to plug in the URL you copied out from the Feed Address field in FeedBurner. Click Save Settings if you modified the Post Feed Redirect URL field. After setting up your podcast feed from Blogger, you'll first want to submit your podcast to Apple's iTunes, as there are a large number of podcatchers that pull the podcasts they present to users based on what Apple has accepted in iTunes. After your podcast is accepted by Apple and appears on iTunes, you'll need to search the podcast listing on other specific podcatchers to make sure your podcast is appearing. And if it isn't, you'll need to do some digging to find out how to get your podcast listed in that specific podcast player.